Welcome, everybody. Uh, for those of you who haven't joined yesterday, my name is Philip Endres. I'm from the customer support team, and I'm going to show you the handbook in the next minutes. Um, don't worry, uh, it's not a huge presentation, um, and uh, we will have a 10 minutes break afterwards. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I will try to keep it short. And uh, of course, you, at the end, you will also have the possibility to raise some questions. Uh, just type them in the chat. We're looking forward to them. Okay, so let's start. Hello again. Um, yeah, as I said, we're talking about the handbook now. Um, what What is the handbook? So uh, if you do access handbook.anapter.com, then you will find a website where you can find all kinds of information. Um, in this presentation, I will show you quickly what's the purpose, what's the structure, and to give you also some examples about it. So first of all, um, why uh, we have this Anapter handbook. So the, uh, the Anapter handbook is the central point of information. So you can have detailed product information there. You will find all our data sheets, manuals. You've, uh, you will find CAD drawings, guidelines, and images. But we also have to-dos, uh, how-tos, like uh, how to set up the drive control network, how to flush the gateway, how to do maintenance tasks, and so on. So a lot of um, yeah manuals and guidelines. Then you will find the firmware update change log. So if you want to know what happened uh, since the last firmware update, you can look that up here as well. Then, of course, the Modbus command table. Um, yeah, very useful information if you want to look up all the commands, uh, reading commands, writing commands that you can send and receive via, the, via Modbus. You can also look it up here. Then um, a list of warnings and errors of the devices for all devices, electrolyzer, dryer, and so on. The knowledge base, uh, this is basically our FAQ. So most of the common questions, you, will, you can also find them here. And then, yeah, customer announcement. So uh, if we are, uh, if you're subscribed to the Anapter newsletter, then um, yeah, you will get some news. And um, the most relevant ones are also summarized here in the handbook. Now we have a new chapter on the handbook, which is the Anapter training platform. And uh, there you can review all the videos from the last session and also the videos from today's session. And uh, yesterday, they will be available there very soon. So check them out. OK, um, let's talk about the downloads that are available on handbook so yeah as i said data sheets uh, for all the devices then of course the owner's manual so this is the detailed manual with installation guidelines with safety control and maintenance then the battery limits uh, this is a document which describes all the interfaces uh, from the specifications diameters uh, but also the requirements then there is the quick start guide Quick start guide is especially for the experienced users who yeah, already know our devices and just want to have a quick repetition to get started. Um, then the CAD drawings, this is uh, useful for all the integrators who want to look up um, how the device will um, yeah, look in the, um, in the on-site system. And uh, then, yeah, there are also some pictures uh, of, yeah, from the Inaptor products. Okay, now let's talk about the how-tos and the additional information. So, um, yeah, first start. So if you want to get started with the devices, then you will have a step-by-step -step guide here. Uh, taking over control, so how you are setting up the remote monitoring and control. Uh, we also explain how to connect the electrolyzer to a SCADA system. Then if you want to control it via Modbus, as I said, uh, we have reading and writing tables uh, where you can look up all the commands which are available uh, via Modbus. Uh, the web GUI, so setting up your local control and monitoring web browser. We also explained that here. Um, very often requested the dry control network. So um, yeah, as we already heard it yesterday, when you want to combine several devices together and um, yeah, send uh, start and stop them with one click, then you can use the dry control network. 
and also for maintenance tasks um, that are yeah usually done like once per year for example how to drain and fill the electrolyzer you can also find that all this information is available on the handbook so let's talk quickly about the structure so um on the top you have the main chapter so general division so when you click on find your device then you can just choose the device that you want to find information about for example the el 4.0 or the multi-core then we have the software chapter so this summarizes all the software related topics also about the gateway then the knowledge base as i said it's uh, like our faqs so you can find their questions and answers about yeah technical integration about the products but also about um yeah um some commercial topics and so on then service bulletin and roadmap uh, this is yeah the general information that we provide to the customers uh, if you want to know what's up, uh, what are the news, uh, what are the the latest, um, uh, yeah, the what what happened recently, and as I said, then the end after training as the new block. Then on the left side, um, when you chose find your device, then you will ha have an overview of all the products that. Yeah, are currently in outside in the market. Um, our current product, the EL 4.0, and the upcoming one, the AM multi-core, but uh, also the dryer 2.1 and water tank 2.1. And you can also find um, like previous models, older systems, um, if you want to have information because you're already an existing customer since several years, then uh, you can also find your information still there. Okay, last not but least, last <laughs> um, just the uh, about the adapter training. So as I said, you can find the videos of the first adapter training here, and also the upcoming videos from this session. So the second online partner training, you will also find them soon. Um, yeah. So as you know, today is the last day, and then uh, we will, um, yeah cut the videos and we will also make them available soon for you. Uh, in future, you will also find additional training videos and uh, we will provide more interesting content for you here. Yeah, um, that's already it. Um, if you want to know more, then just put your question in the chat. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your attention.